Okay, in this tutorial, I'll show you several different ways in which you can make terrains within your scene in Blender. And here's a simple little terrain. This is using a displacement modifier. We'll cover that last. So let's just start from scratch. And I'll start with a simple plane. I'll get rid of this, add a plane to the scene. I'll scale it up a little bit. All right, and one of the easiest ways is to just go into edit mode and subdivide a bunch of times like that. And then maybe with vertex selected, you know, the simple way would just, I'm holding down the shift key, just pick, pick a bunch of vertices like that, go into proportional editing, set this maybe to sharp, or something like that, press GZ, and then move it up like this, and then, or maybe, you know, RZ, maybe spin it. So there's, you know, that's one different way, just by using the proportional editing, all right? So that's one approach that I sometimes use, and that can be pretty useful too, especially since you have access to these edge loops. You know, if you had something that was different than just a square, it's easy enough to hold down the Alt key and grab this line like that and move this like this, and then using the proportional editing tool, you can just change the whole surface like this, all right? So that's one possible way. But, uh, and another way that's available, let me just control Z this out. Whoops, I didn't want to go all that that way out. All right, and I'll, I'll, I'll just subdivide it a couple times just for starters. You could use a multi-resolution modifier, but then the other way is you can go into sculpt mode and then using these great tools down here under topology enable dynamic like this, and then go use the brush tools and then you could just brush your scene in like this. This is really powerful these days with this dynamic topology. So then you could just paint your terrain how you want it. And you can see it's already painting it like that. Well, we could give it a little more strength if we want. Very quick, and that's for you, those of you who are artists. I'm not really an artist. I've mentioned that many times before. I'm more of a, uh, who knows, I'm a kind of an artist and a programmer and a math guy and all that kind of stuff all built into one. All right, so that's one way to do it. Now, and then the other way that I'll typically use in Blender is, let me see, let me go back into here. What I'll do in here, I'll scale this up also. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a displacement modifier. And this is a great approach for using textures. And somewhere in the past, I did a tutorial on using textures in modifying surfaces. But this is a, this is a way you would use it if you had, say, a height map, say, from a, a photograph, and you had black and white white representing the high elevations and black representing your lower elevations. And then you'd map a texture onto this surface. So let's just do that. So from within here, well, first thing I want to do is I'll just mark these seams in here. It doesn't matter. It's just a plain surface for starters. So we're going to go into edit mode. There it is down here. I'll mark the seam and then I'll unwrap it and I'll just use a light map pack. There's a lot of different ways you can do this, but this one works also. And so what I want to do is I want to add a texture to this. So in the first place, I'll add a material. And maybe I'll just make it some color like this. And I like to turn this specularity down. And then now that I have the material, I can add a texture. And in this case, I'm just going to use some texture. Well, we could use the default cloud texture, or we could use, I think, in, well, let's see what the ocean texture looks like. No, that's not going to work. We want a bunch of black and white textures. Veroni, that's a fairly common texture to use. So I'll just use that like that. I leave edit mode. I should be able to see it, but I can't see it yet because I have to be in texture mode here. I'm in Blender render texture mode. And then I'm going to press N, come down here to the properties under display. I'm going to make sure I'm in GLSL. And I use GLSL all the time because of shaders. All right. And so what I want to do is I want to be able to map this onto a surface like this. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to use the displacement modifier. So I'm going to come up here to the little wrench and I'm going to come down here and use displace. All right, like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that texture to displace this surface. All right, so I'm going to press new and it's going to have access to this texture.001. And this is going to be the strength that I want to control. I'm going to turn that down a little bit for now. Well, I don't see anything happening right yet. And it really could, except for one thing, is that there's not enough information on this mesh to take advantage of this texture that we have set over here. right? So what it's doing, it's if I had the finer the resolution of the mesh, the better able it's able to look at the dark and the light values in order to 
elevate the surface with the brighter values. So let's just start doing that. Let's go into but from edit mode I'll start sub subdividing and at some point there should be enough mesh data that it'll start let's see oh I must have missed a step. Did I miss a step? Nah I oh there it is. No I didn't miss a step. So there it is. So you can see in here let me go back there just for a second control Z that back down one level and go look uh, we see it a little bit there. I'll try that again. Control Z. I'll go down to this level. And you can see there's barely much barely much information in there. So I'll go back in and I'll just I'll just subdivide it a bunch. Let's see how many times we subdivide it. Yeah, that's a pretty good subdivision here. And then you can see that surface starts looking pretty accurate and that conforms to this. Of course I could just come in here and change this to another let's see what the marble looks like. Ooh, marble texture like that and suddenly you have this kind of surface built in here like that and then if you want to control the elevation it's going to go from dark to white so you can just change that in here with the displacement modifier here just by changing this whole elevation like that you can go down to zero you can crank it way up like this like this and then the last thing I wanted to show you is you can use this for other reasons you can just animate this as well so if with down at zero I can just come over here and press I and I've set a keyframe and then maybe up here frame one something I'll just crank it up like that and press I and add another keyframe then when I run all day from here then you get the thing changing dynamically for you like that okay just thought I'd point that out then maybe that'll help you with your own projects and I'll see you in the next lesson